What's up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King John City4, and today I'll be showing you guys the full clip where T Martin apologized to everybody in YouTube. But as far as I know, after watching the clip, it doesn't even look like an apology. But I'll explain it to you guys after the video is done. So, what I'll be doing today, guys, is I will be reviewing the video that T Martin uploaded a day ago and also deleted it off YouTube. I don't know why he did that, but I'm pretty sure he's hiding a lot of shady shit. So, enjoy the clip, guys. I'll be reviewing it after the Cooper, clip is done. I have no idea. How I'm gonna record this video, dude. All right, guys, so uh, I'm gonna try to make this as short and sweet as possible. I don't wanna take up too much of your time. But first and foremost, I do wanna say that I love you guys. You guys seriously mean the world to me. You have for the past six years that I've been on YouTube and you honestly have changed my life. Like every single day I get to wake up and chase my dreams and follow my passions and that's all been made possible by you guys. So thank you guys for everything that you've done for me and all the opportunities and memories that you've allowed me to create. Now, my connection to CSGO Lotto has been a matter of public record since the company was first organized in December of 2015. However, I do feel like I owe you guys an apology. I am sorry to each and every one of you who felt like that was not made clear enough to you. And uh, I truly, honestly hope that you guys give me an opportunity to earn your trust back. Please also know that I am committed to making sure that my YouTube channel as well as all of my other businesses are in compliance with the law. This is why I do not condone minors under the age of 18 to use CSGO Lotto. This is and always has been a clearly stated policy available both in the terms of service as well as the initial sign up page on the website. I've seen a lot of people focusing on the under the age of 13 section of our privacy policy. All this section states is that we do not knowingly record information of children under the age of 13 years old in compliance with the COPPA Act. This has nothing to do with and does not mean that we condone minors under the age of 18 to play on the site. Also, and this is very important to me, I believe that every game offered on CSGO Lotto has been legitimate and I am committed to making sure that that remains true. Again, you guys seriously mean the world to me. Like you've changed my life in so many ways. I'll never be able to thank you for what you all have done. Thank you guys so much for all the support over the years and I'm just, I'm so grateful for each and every one of you from the bottom of my heart. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I truly do appreciate it. Uh, I look forward to getting back to my regularly scheduled content and uh, I hope to see you guys there. Thanks guys. All right, first off, let's start off with the fucking dog. Seriously, T. Martin, the fucking dog, you're gonna use your own pet for sympathy. How I'm gonna record this video, dude. In the arms of the angel, like, this is pretty sad, man. How the hell can he use his own dog like this? Imagine if that dog were to learn what the hell T. Martin does behind the scenes. I'm pretty sure he will leave his sorry ass. But anyways, enough insulting Team Martin. Now we're going to be moving on to the actual opinions and the actual facts about this video. So there was this one point in the video where he actually did apologize, but it pretty much sounded really sketchy. Let me replay the clip. Now, my connection to CSGO Lotto has been a matter of public record since the company was first organized in December of 2015. However, I do feel like I owe you guys an apology. I am sorry to each and every one of you who felt like that was not made clear enough to you. So this was the only part in the whole video he actually apologized for. The rest of the video is just him trying to make himself look good so you guys can feel bad for him and, you know, kind of come back to his subscriber fan base. I cannot believe this guy even has fanboys. So anyways, the reason this sounds pathetic because, you, you know, if you listen to the video, he literally just says, I'm sorry for not making it clear enough that I was the owner of the fucking website. Are you fucking serious? Like, my man, in the, originally the videos uploaded, you literally said that you found a gambling site that was recommended by your friend. And in this video, you said you already know about this since 2015. Like, what the fuck, man? That's sketchy as fuck. You're lying to your subscriber base. And yes, you apologize for it. But that's fucked up because you want your subscriber base to go to this website. And also, there's a lot of evidence out there that T. Martin actually has controls of who wins and who loses. And there's a lot of evidence. I want you guys to subscribe right now to Honor the Call. Type it in on YouTube right now. Search for that channel. 
Look at his evidence against T. Martin. And I'm telling you, T. Martin is a sketchy motherfucker. Do not listen to anything he says. Do not subscribe to him. Unsubscribe to him because this is just ridiculous, man. If you go to his website and start gambling, I'm pretty sure you will lose a lot of money. And guess where all those, you know, little money, you know, that's that you lose in the freaking website will go to. It's going to go directly to T. Martin and Pro Syndicate's pockets. Are you? Do you really want to give away free money like that? Don't you love money? I'm pretty sure I want to buy myself a car. You know, I'd rather save my money instead of playing to these all sketchy ass websites. Do not do it, guys. Do not fall for these kinds of stuff. Stay away from T. Martin. Stay away from Pulse Syndicate because these two assholes are into it together. And also, some other YouTubers too. Phase Rain. He's another guy. So watch out with this whole situation, guys. Stay away from CSGO gambling and you'll be just fine. Because these motherfuckers also do not have an age restriction on their bullshit. So... My man, this is just ridiculous. This is just sketchy as fuck. This is something that the mob will fucking probably do in real life. Somehow, some way. So, um, guys, T. Martin is a liar. He did not say sorry for anything he's done. He did not say sorry for stealing money from anybody who joined the site. He just said sorry for not making it clear. You had a long time to make it clear. So that's my explanation, guys. That's my opinion about this situation. This guy... Is is sketchy as fuck. That's how how I'm gonna describe it as.